Today we'll show you how to measure the power output of a solar panel. This is totally necessary when you need to size your solar array for your power system. This is also useful when you have a solar panel that has a problem. And the problem can be anything from loose wire to corrosion to cracked glass. In this case I have a panel with a cracked glass. The glass is cracked but it's still working and it's still producing power. I need to test it to know how much power I can get out of it, despite of the cracked class. Let's get started. In order to get the maximum output when you test your solar panel, it's best to test it at noon time when the sun is directly above your head. You need to tilt the panel so that it will face directly under the sunlight. Another thing you will need for this test is a large piece of cardboard box at least half the size of the solar panel. You can also use a smaller piece, but the larger the better. This is to cover up the solar panel to reduce the output when you connect and disconnect the wires from the solar panel. You do not want to connect and disconnect the solar panel when it's under load. It will produce a lot of sparks and heat, and it's hot enough to melt your plastic connectors. The sparks are also very bright, just like welding, and it can damage your eyes if you're looking right at it. It's just like welding without a welding helmet. For this test, you will need to measure the voltage and the current output of the solar panel. There's a label on the back of the panel will tell you the maximum voltage and current output of the solar panel. You will never get anywhere close to this number because it is tested in the lab under an optimum condition where light output and temperature is being controlled carefully. You will never get this light output and temperature in real life condition. But the closer you can get to this number, the better. In this case, it's 37 volts and 8 amp. I'd say I usually get between 80 to 90% of this specification in real life condition. Measuring the voltage output of the solar panel is quite simple. You just need to place the probes on your multimeter to the terminals of the wires on the solar panel. In this case, I get about 35 volts. In order to measure the current output of the solar panel, you will need to connect the solar panel to a load. Your multimeter has to be connected in series inside the circuit with the load. The load I'm using is a heating element salvaged from a small oven. This element can handle up to 1200 watts, so it's more than enough to test this 260 watt solar panel. I will need to connect both the load and the multimeter in the same circuit. So first set up the multimeter to measure ampere by moving the probe to the amp position. Then move the dial to the amp position also. Then connect the negative terminal of the solar panel connector to one side of the load. The load in this case is basically a resistor, so there's no polarity. I can just connect it to either end of the load. And then connect the positive terminal of the solar panel to one of the probe of the multimeter. The other probe goes out and connects to the load. So right now with the cardboard box covering the solar panel, we only got about 0.05 amp output. Now I'll remove this piece of cardboard and you can see it immediately jumps to 5.5 amp. And on the clamp meter is showing exactly the same output. So you can see these meters are very consistent to each other and pretty accurate. With the clamp meter, it's very easy to measure the current output. All you have to do is to put the solar panel on the load and clamp on one of the wire and you're good to go. The only downside is the cost. A fluke clamp meter like this is about 20 times more expensive than the cheap multimeter I have on here. Now, so when you are done with the testing, you want to disconnect the system before you disconnect. You're going to have to cover up the solar panel. Yeah, cover it up. Now you see the amp, the current coming out of the load. It's really low now, so now it's safe to disconnect. And that's all I have for now. You can see I have quite a few of these cracked solar panel. 
The cracks make some of my solar panels taken in water and short out the tapping wires underneath the glass and corrode both the wires and the solar cells. I'm going to do some tests on them and I'll show you the results in the next video. I'm also going to fix them and put them right back to service. And that's all in the next video. I'll see you then.